Okay, so we're told that we have a proton here that starts at rest and then it is accelerated through a potential difference of 240 volts before entering a uh, region of a uniform magnetic field where that external magnetic field is 3.4 tesla directed into the page and we want this proton to eventually just keep on traveling through that field in a straight line okay um, we need to find the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force that will act on the proton so let's start with the direction right and the right hand rule tells us that it's qv cross b where the force is palm the velocity is thumb and the magnetic field is fingers well if you point your thumb in the direction of the velocity like this and you point your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field then you find that the magnetic force points up so there's the direction now the magnitude is going to be QVB sine 90, okay? Because we're told that the proton is moving in the plus x direction in the plane of the page, and the magnetic field points into the page, so our angle between them is 90 degrees. So we know Q, and we know B, we need to find V. We need to find out how fast this proton is going after it passes through the 240 volt potential. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we have to use work energy, right? We say the sum of the works on done by all the forces on the proton is equal to the work done by the electric force and that's equal to the change of kinetic energy now uh, the work done by the electric force you know you could use i guess q e delta s but we don't know what e is and we don't know what delta s is so that's not really helping uh, so we're not going to use this instead we're going to use the work done by the electric forces minus q delta v now, uh, let's see, what, what is delta V here? Now, if the proton is going to accelerate, that means the electric field must point in that direction as well. So this proton is in some kind of electric field that points that way. And remember that electric fields point from high potential to low potential. Okay, so delta V in this case, which is V final minus V initial, is going to be negative 240 volts because the final potential over here is lower than the initial potential okay so we have uh, the work done by the electric force is equal to the change of kinetic energy so that's minus q delta v is equal to one half mv squared minus zero because the initial velocity of the proton is zero okay so now we can start plugging stuff in so we have charge of a proton and then minus 240. Now it's good that that's minus because it's going to make this whole side negative or positive, which we want because the kinetic energy is positive. Now the mass of a proton is also given on your formula sheet. Okay, so if I solve this for v squared, I get v squared is 4.6 times 10 to the 10th, and therefore v is 2.14 times 10 to the 5th meters per second. Okay. And so the force, QVB sine 90, if I multiply those things together, I get it's 1.2 times 10 to the minus 13 newtons in the plus y direction. Right, we've already decided that points in the plus y direction. Now that may not seem like a very big force, but remember that the mass of the proton is extremely small. So that's actually going to lead to quite a huge acceleration if there aren't any other forces. It's going to make that proton move around in a really tight little circle. Well, now for part B, okay, so we're done with part A. Now for part B, it says we need a uniform electric field that allows the proton to continue to travel east at constant velocity. So what electric field would allow the proton to move that direction? It would have to be an electric field that balances out the, elect the magnetic force. So the electric force would have to point down, therefore the electric field would have to point down. Okay, now, in order for the, uh, for the proton to travel in a straight line, this is something we've done together in class, it's a velocity selector, we need 
the magnitude of the electric force to equal the magnitude of the magnetic force. They're equal and opposite, they'll cancel out. So that means QE is equal to QVB, and V is equal to E over V. Or E is equal to VB, in this case, because we're trying to find E, aren't we? So that's going to be uh, 2.14 times 10 to the fifth, multiplied by 3.4 Tesla, right? That's our, that's our magnetic field that we're moving through. And so that means the electric field is uh, 7.3 times 10 to the fifth volts per meter. And it's directed in the minus y direction, as shown up here.